Fish on. There we go. Pretty fish. Look at that, just barely hooked. This fish came up several different times, looked at my bait, went back down, and then all of a sudden just sprung into action. A lot of times I tailor my jigging style to each individual fish. If they come up hard, I'll continue that raise with that spoon. If they come in just real ever so slightly, I might just slow down my jigging, but kind of just tailoring it to each individual fish. Nice big healthy fish. We'll get this one back in the water. Here he comes. There we go. He's coming up to the jig pretty aggressively. Look at that. Little hesitation, but as soon as I raised it, there he is. Fish on. Well, that was a cool sequence. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Dropped the dig down. He hesitated for a bit and then just came up and Well, smacked I was watching it. and you literally teased him like a bullfighter, teased him into biting. And, and so few people understand that that can be done. So that was a cool sequence. Oh, nice fish. Man, see if we can get him here. Beauty. There we go. Oh, yeah. Pretty much a big fish. Eh, we had one more earlier today, three and a half, four pounds like that. And they are so beautiful. And you can see he's mad yet. He's got his <laughs> fins sticking up. Grab that little buckshot out of there. Such a beautiful fish. I love it when they stick that fin up like that. Oh, absolutely. Now, let me ask you a couple questions. I'll put him back, but about the jigging sequence. You know, in the old days when we weren't watching this kind of stuff, you'd the typical distance off the bottom will be six inches to a foot. And most of the time, how, how you know, where do you usually start at above the bottom? Well, really, it depends on where the fish are in the water column for me. I mean, if I see them up a little bit higher, I'll stop that jig two, three feet above that fish. Always That's, stop above them. Don't yeah, go past them. Absolutely. You know, keep it above them. Even on that sequence, I dropped it a little too close and he, he dropped down. But then as, immediately, as, as soon as I started raising it on my jigging sequence, he popped right back up and slammed Okay, it. no fish on the screen. Where do you start, typically? Uh, foot, foot and a half, two feet? Yeah, one, higher one than feet. higher than most people often do, I think. Oh, absolutely! Everybody thinks walleyes are tight to the bottom, right. and as you know, they're way up in the water column at times. And as you saw in that sequence, everybody, you can absolutely tease these fish sometimes and actually make them bite. And it's rare that you tease them by dropping it down to the bottom, past them. It's usually you got it. They're coming up. They're coming up. They want it. Oh, it's getting away, and they come and get it. That was well done. <laughs> Let's go get this one. Oh. oh man, nice job. <laughs> this isn't a bad fish. Ooh. Not a monster, but. No? Thanks, Doug. Yeah, not bad, though. Yeah, that's a, that's a real good lesson right there, man. Watching all day, that's been amazing. Uh, this time of year when they rub the hole like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Whoop. Come here. Got him. Whoa. <laughs> Nice fish. <laughs> not bad. I tell you, watching you in action, not just working the system, but the jigging lesson today, as far as I'm concerned, that was amazing. Very nicely done. Thanks, Doug. And Corey's over there. I don't know if he's in fish or not, but uh, we've got probably 10 minutes or more of fishing tonight, and, but it's been great. Thank you very much. Oh, it's been a pleasure. And Corey's great writing on the very subject going to revolutionize or has already started to revolutionize fishing in the way people are fishing. That's right and it's more exciting. I mean I like moving around and being able to check lots and lots of different structures. Absolutely. It makes fishing a lot of fun. You bet. And you're catching lots of fish. <laughs>